Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence beginning at 10 a.m. Under indictment, we've learned former Beacon Mutual CEO Joseph Solomon is charged with stealing from the company. Solomon is accused of misusing company cash when he was chief executive back in 2003. The charge is the latest blow since we first told you about his firing in 2006. I went to news reporter Alex DePrado is live with the Mobile Newsroom with what he's learned. Well, Karen, Joseph Solomon is accused of stealing money from Beacon Mutual, where he was the CEO to buy two things, diamond jewelry and an audio video system. And prosecutors say he only returned the money once he realized he was under investigation. Is there anything you'd like to say to us tonight? Uh, this is in retaliation for the governor. From behind the front door of his sprawling East Greenwich home, Joseph Solomon called two felony indictments against him, handed up by a grand jury on Wednesday, a witch hunt by Governor Kachiri. Prosecutors say Solomon, the former CEO of Beacon Mutual, stole $3,531 from the company to pay for diamond jewelry and $5,000 for an audio video system for his home. They say that you took money for an audio video system for this home. No, that's not, uh, that's not, that's not true at all. Not true at all. Okay. So, I mean, you know, they can take and twist anything they want. Solomon was fired from Beacon Mutual in 2006 after this audit found mismanagement of the company. Governor Kachiri had called for the investigation. For five years they've been trying to get in touch, you know, trying to get me. You know, this governor just won't give up, okay? Solomon is accused of stealing the money for the jewelry and electronics in 2003, then writing the company a check for the amount in 2006 after learning he was under investigation. In a statement, the company says, quote, Beacon Mutual has cooperated fully with the Rhode Island Attorney General and all other investigating agencies regarding matters that happened during Mr. Solomon's operation of the company. And Solomon also released a statement to Eyewitness News late tonight. In it, he says the indictment comes as he begins negotiations with Beacon Mutual for a wrongful termination lawsuit. Definitely not the end of this uh, case. He's due back in court in October. Of course, we'll keep you posted.